Hi there! In the video today, I will show you the issues I have seen with the Keystone Jack and the best practices to follow while making or repairing a network termination. Hi, I'm Kleber, and here at Network Trunks, I bring tips and news about computer networks. So, previously in this channel, I show you all the tools and the steps that are required to crimp Ethernet cables to RJ45 connector. If you haven't watched it yet, I recommend you to check it out later. The link is right here and in the description of this video. Today's video is to show you the actual process of working with Ethernet cables and the correct tools to repair a Keystone jack. The reason I'm telling this to you, it's because I've seen so many network cabling issues since I started working in IT. Let me give you some examples of what I'm talking about. Nicket conductors are not hard to find while repairing the terminations. It happens when the cable stripping tool slices through the cable jacket and the insulation of the wires on the inside of the cable. The only way to avoid it is to readjust the stripping tool and start over. It is always recommended to inspect each wire after stripping the cable jacket before going to the next step. It's gonna save you tons of time as naked conductors are extremely difficult to track them down. Crossed wires are another common issue that happens to the best of us. Related to the two standards we can choose to use, T568A and T568B, the recommendation here is to stick with one of them. You also have to check what is the standard that is already in use in your project and verify that the wires are in the correct slot in the connector. Excessive untwist is not acceptable at all. It is pretty clear that whoever did it, did not know how to do the job. Usually, the problem starts when the amount of untwist is above half inch. So, keep that in mind that the more you untwist the pairs, the less performance you get. It applies while terminating a RJ45 connector or a keystone jack. Now the question to you. Have you seen one of these examples? Maybe you have seen others that I didn't talk about? Please leave in the comments what the situation was and how did you fix it. That being said, it's time to show you the required tools and the items I'm going to use today to make the keystone jack. Here I have a CAT6 Ethernet cable. When repairing a termination, you'll be able to see different categories like CAT5 and CAT5E. In general, the process is the same for all of them. A wire cutter or a UTP cable stripper is required to cut the cable. A wire stripper or a UTP cable stripper to remove the jacket of the Ethernet cable. Some keystone jacks. These ones that I have are standards and required a tool to punch the wires down. You will find many types of keystone jacks, including the toolless ones. The most important recommendation here is to make sure the termination is done correctly. It does not matter which keystone jack you use. Last but not least is the punch down tool for Ethernet cable. Even if you use toolless keystone, I recommend you to have one with you. The purpose of today's video is to show you how to do the terminations. More details and specifications about each item I talked about will be available later in this channel, so subscribe to not miss it. So the first step is to cut the Ethernet cable with a wire cutter. So what I want to have here is just a straight cut in this end, so I'm gonna get the wire cutter and make a straight cut. Just like that. 
So the second step is to remove the outer jack off by using a UTP cable stripper or a crimping tool that has the wire strip uh, uh, slot. So like this one that I have, it is right, right here. But for this demonstration, I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna use the UTP cable stripper to uh, remove three inches of the, the Ethernet cable jacket. So just place the cable in this slot. Give one revolution, that should be fine. And take it out. So once you remove it, just um, uh, check if all the cables, the wires on the inside is not damaged. If they are, just make another clean cut again and start over. In this third step is uh, to untwist all the pairs. So let's start with the blue one, the brown, the green one, and the orange one, the last one. So if you are um, repairing a termination uh, where the cable is um, uh, cat 6 and above, you're gonna see one of these um, plastic on the inside. It, call, it The name of it it's, uh, is spline. So the best way to remove it, it's not using a knife or scissors or anything like that, because you can damage the, the wires on the inside of the Ethernet cable. So the best way to do, that at least I do, it's just to use a wire cutter and cut each wing just like that and twist it done so it's better than using a knife or anything to damage the cable so you don't want that So the fourth step is to uh, place each wires on the inside of the Ethernet cable to the keystone jack. So as you can see, uh, the keystone jack, it has a, um, a small label. You can see that has a B and A on each side. So it has information uh, based on the standard you're gonna use uh, where or which slot you should put the, the wires. So um, in my demonstration, I'm gonna stick with the, the standard uh, T568B. So it's gonna be the first line in here. I'm gonna show this in the video later on. So uh, let's go that and uh, start with the blue one. So let's get the blue and white. And while uh, you're doing this, just make sure you place the Ethernet cable, the jacket, in this position. And then start placing the cable, the wires, in the correct slot. Just like that. Just to start with, one side. The other one will be the white green. Let's arrange the cables here. Now the green. The other side, we go with the blue. white orange and the white brown on this side the orange and the brown so 
before punching down the, the wires just to double check if they are in order and uh, in order with the standard that you're gonna use so you should be aware which is standard you are using in your project the last step of making or repairing a keystone jack is to punch down each wire by using a punch down tool so just place the blade uh, on top of the wire and punching down until you hear uh, a tool snap so just like this one now let me tell you something uh, when doing that just make sure the cutting tip of the blade it's outside of the connector the, not on the inside from the outside uh, if you are using correctly with the punch down tool, it will cut the wire like, like uh, it did it before. So let's do it again with the, the green one. So place the cable, uh, the punch down tool on top of the wire and done. Just like that. And do that for all the, the wires. orange one blue and the white blue sometimes the blade will not cut the wires uh, but it's gonna be just easily like what I'm doing at the moment so it's done all you have to do is just to put the cover on top and there it is the keystone termination it's uh, completed now depending on how many you have to do just keep doing the the good job the same way i did and uh, good luck on your job so that's it in today's video i showed you the common issues i faced when i was uh, working as a computer technician and um, the best uh, practices on how to fix each issue. So I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.